The gang starts with a classic turn one, land pass merry-go-round, with Sam playing a tap temple garden, John playing a tap glacial fortress, Tom playing a tap stomping ground, and Extra playing a mountain. Sam then kicks off his second turn with a command tower before passing. John plays a mountain and casts Mind Stealth, passing to Tom. Tom plays a Yavi Maya Coast and taps two for three visits into a Ketria Trial, while Extra plays a Swamp for turn and taps two for a Genasi Enforcers before passing back to Sam. Sam plays a Deserted Beach for turn, then casts Gwenna, Eyes of Gaia. He passes to John. John plays an Island for turn, then taps for a white to cast Steel Shaper's Gift, putting Sword of the Animist into his hand. He plays Amy Pond, his doctor's companion, with her partner ability triggering as she resolves, and John puts Rory Williams from his library into his hand. John then passes to Tom. Tom plays a tapped Frostboil Snarl and taps 2 to cast Ozla, the Shattered Spire, before passing to Extra. Extra plays a Haunted Ridge for turn, he attacks Tom with Genasi Enforcers, triggering their Myriad ability. Sam blocks the Myriad token, attacking him with Gwenna, while everyone else takes the hit. Then, in his second main phase, Extra casts Fable of the Mirror Breaker making a 2-2 Goblin Shaman with its first ability. Extra then passes back to Sam. Sam plays a Sun Pole Grove for turn, then casts his commander, the Sixth Doctor, before passing to John. John casts the Sword of the Animist he tutored for last turn, he equips the sword to Amy Pond, then swings her at Extra, triggering Sword to get a mountain, while Extra takes the damage. John then passes to Tom. Tom plays a Bark Channel Pathway for turn, he casts his commander, Me the Immortal. He goes to combat, triggering Me and choosing to put two 1-1 one -one counters on her thanks to the Ozolith. Since he can't attack anyone yet, Tom passes the turn. On his turn, Extra puts a lower counter on Fable of the Mirror Breaker, letting him discard two and draw two. He plays a Swamp for turn, then goes directly to combat, he swings Genasi Enforcers and the Goblin Shaman token at John, triggering both for Myriads to make two copies and the Shaman token to make a treasure. Tom blocks his Enforcers copy with me while John and Sam take the hit. In his second main, Extra casts Sauron, the Necromancer, then passes it back to John. Sam plays a Bark Channel Pathway of his own for turn. He casts Sakashima of a Thousand Faces, triggering his commander and making a copy of Sakashima on the stack. Both Sakashimas enter as a copy of the Sixth Doctor, which makes Satan happy, and Sam's opponents very unhappy. Sam then casts Lauren of the Third Path, who gets copied twice thanks to the Sakashimas. All three Laurens enter, and Sam has them destroy John's Mind Stone and Sword the Animist, as well as Extra's Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Feeling he's done enough to paint a target on his back for now, Sam passes the turn. On his turn, John plays a Maul of the Skyclaves and attaches it to Amy thanks to its ETB effect. John swings Amy at Sam, then passes to Tom. Tom plays a Dream Root Cascade for turn. He cycles Avian Oddity from his hand, drawing a card and putting a flying counter on me thanks to its ability. He then activates Ozolith, putting two 1-1 one -one counters on me. He continues by enchanting me with Rancor, then goes to combat, throwing me and putting a Vigilance counter on her. He swings me at Sam, then passes it to Extra. Extra plays a Sulphurous Springs for turn, then goes to combat. He attacks John with the Goblin Shaman and Tom with Sauron, triggering both creatures and subsequently making a treasure and exiling Grakshasa the Baser from his graveyard to make a 3-3 attacking copy, attacking Tom. In his second main, Extra casts his own commander, the Master Multiply. He then passes to Sam, but not before John gets in a Pongify, destroying Sam's original Sagashima, with Sam making a 3-3-8. Sam then moves to his turn. He plays a Henge Gate Pathway Return, then casts Perry Brown, making two copies with his two remaining six doctors. Sam then attacks John with all three of his Laurens, then passes the turn. 
John plays a river glide pathway for turn, then suspends Rousing Refrain with three time counters. He attacks Sam with Amy, who responds by flashing in Roth Capotion, Ship's Mage, making two copies with his sixes. He blocks Amy with all three rafts. Then John moves to his second main. He casts the 11th Doctor, then moves to his end step. Sam chooses to respond by casting Path to Exile targeting me, with the spell resolving and Tom getting a forest for his trouble. Tom then moves to his turn. Tom starts by recasting me, who retains all her previous counters. He goes to combat, putting two 1 1 counters on me and declaring no attackers. He passes, but not before Sam flashes in Niam, a steam speaker, making two copies with his sixes. All three Niambis trigger, and Sam bounces his original Lauren and Perry along with Gwenna to gain a total of 10 life before the turn finally goes to Extra. Extra first mutates Dirge Bat onto the Master, triggering its ability and destroying the second Sakashima copy of the Sixth Doctor. In response, Sam flashes in Lauren, making two copies with the Sixes, who enter with Sam choosing to destroy John's Maul and Tom's Ozolith. The Sakashima copy is then destroyed. Extra then swings the Master and the Goblin Shaman token at John, making a treasure and two attacking token copies of the mutated Master. Everyone takes the hit, and on Extra's end step, Sam activates two of his Lorens targeting John, with both players drawing two cards. Sam then moves to his turn, and immediately swings everything at Tom, who blocks Sam's commander with me, and in response, Sam activates all five of his Lorens targeting Tom, and both players draw five. Sam then flashes in Queen All in All of Ruadoc before damage, making a copy with six. The attackers then connect, and Tom dies. Sam then plays a Rejuvenating Springs for turn, he casts Delighted Halfling, and a Soul Ring, then passes to John. On John's upkeep, he removes a time counter from Rousing Refrain. He plays a Planes for turn, recasts Amy Pond, and passes. Extra plays a tap for Boarding Ruins for turn, then casts Lagomos, Hand of Hatred. He also casts Arcane Signet, then goes to combat. Lagomos triggers, making a 2-1 elemental with haste. Extra attacks John with all three of his masters, triggering Myriad three times for a grand total of six masters on the field. He passes, with Sam flashing in Gwenna and Perry before moving to his turn. Sam decides to keep choosing violence and attacks John with five Lorens and three Perrys. John blocks the original Loren with Amy and the Loren copy with the Eleven Doctor. Before damage, Sam activates three Lorens targeting John and both draw three. John then takes the unblocked damage and dies. In his second main, Sam recasts his commander. He plays a forest, then casts Trulane, making a copy with six. He then casts Malkator, Purity Overseer, triggering both Trulanes and drawing two, then putting a port down and a tapped Howled Fountain into play. Malkator then enters, making a 3-3 Phyrexian Golem, as well as two 1-1 one -one soldiers, thanks to Queen Alanol. He then passes to Extra. Extra starts off with a Flame Shadow Conjuring. He moves to combat, making a 2-1 elemental with Lagomos. He attacks Sam with all six of his masters, and the Rakshasa the Baser token from earlier. The Baser triggers, putting Sakashima from Sam's graveyard onto the field, attacking Sam as a copy of the master. Flame Shadow Conjuring triggers, and Sam makes a token copy of Sakshima, in turn making it a copy of the Master as well. Before blocks, Sam flashes in Kolvori, God of Kinship, triggering both Chilanes and drawing two, and putting a Breeding Pool and a Hinterland Harbor onto the field tapped. Sam blocks two copies of the Master with two rafts, and the Debaser token with Kolvori and a Soldier. Sam also casts Stroke of Midnight, targeting the Sakashima clone of the Master. With the required quota of 5 creatures dying, Sam activates Lagomos, tutoring for Ayara, Widow of the Realm. In his second main, he seals Sam's fate by casting Ayara, 
triggering Flame Shadow Conjuring and paying a red to make a hasty token copy of Ayara. He activates the token, sacking Sauron and draining Sam for 5, killing him and snatching the wind.